All right, so welcome back to my channel, Blessed and Highly Flavored. Thank you so much for joining me today. I am excited about today like I am excited about every day because, hey, like I said, it's food. But today I'm excited because I'm going to do something quick. I always try to make it quick, something easy, something flavorful, something wonderful. So today I'm going to be making my version of a buffalo chicken dip. Um, great for parties, great, great for game day, great for just hanging out, great for a nice little snack whatever you can show up and have one of the best dishes at the party if you bring this buffalo chicken dip so i'm just gonna make a quick video today showing you how to prepare that so i hope you enjoy um but i do want to thank you so much for joining me don't forget to subscribe 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 that's the word don't forget to subscribe to my channel turn on your notifications click the like button and you know don't be stingy yes please share my videos share my youtube videos um share my instagram page which is bless underscore highly underscore flavored zero one i'll try to remember to put that below so you can go to my instagram and start following me there um that page will let you know if you don't have your notifications turned on it'll let you know when i posted something and when new videos are up so check that out but today buffalo chicken dip I'm going to be preparing the buffalo chicken dip with my own little spin on it, of course, because, you know, I have to put my spin on all of my favorite things. So I'll be doing that today. Um, so I don't want to go on and on about that because I'm kind of excited about making that and just kind of chilling out for the rest of the day because I'm getting a late start. Uh, but I do want to thank you for joining me. I want to once again thank all of my essential personnel for going to work every day. And I want to thank everybody else for practicing social distancing and doing their best to protect themselves as well as each other. Now, without further ado, let's start this video. To begin the process of making my buffalo chicken dip, I'm gonna start by boiling my chicken. Yes, I did say boiling. I'm gonna add a little over four cups of water to my Dutch oven. Turn on high heat to bring it to a boil. Here I have a little, a little over two and a half pounds of boneless, skinless chicken breasts. Um, I washed them, cleaned them, and then I'm just gonna add them straight to the pot. Some of them still have a little additional fat on them. I find that easier to remove after I'm finished boiling it, so I'm gonna just add it straight to the pot as is. It's about three breasts. Like I said, a little over two and a half pounds. And then I'm going to add one tablespoon of Creole seasoning just to season my water and also season my chicken. And I'm going to add a half a tablespoon of Greek seasoning. I'm going to bring this pot to a boil. I'm going to let the chicken cook for about 10 to 15 minutes. Once it comes to a boil, I'm going to reduce the heat to about medium and well medium high of course and i'm gonna let it go for about 10 to 15 minutes before i take the chicken out and shred it for our dip so my chicken is just about done it's been about 10 minutes i waited until the water was completely to a boil before i started my timer so once the water is completely boiling i never reduced the heat i left it on high but once it's completely boiling then I started the timer for about 10 minutes and my chicken is done. So I'm going to turn my heat off. I'm going to remove my chicken breast and sit them into a bowl and allow them to cool. Like I mentioned before, this would be a perfect time to remove any additional unwanted parts, fat or anything like that. I recommend you do that now after it cools because it is piping hot but as you can see since we seasoned the water the chicken breast got seasoned as well so i'm going to allow my chicken breast to cool and then i'm just going to use two forks and shred my chicken i've allowed my chicken to cool for about 15 minutes and like i mentioned before i'm just taking two large forks and using it to pull the chicken apart which can be kind of tedious. So since it is cool, if you want to just jump in with your hands, 
feel free to do so. Also, if you have those claws that you can use to pull the chicken apart, you could do that as well. Um, when I set my chicken in the bowl to cool, it did create a little moisture at the bottom, some excess water, so I poured that off. And like I said, I'm just pulling the chicken like so. So that we can add in the rest of our ingredients. I am all done shredding my chicken. And now I'm ready to add the rest of my ingredients. So to do so, I'm going to start with the traditional buffalo chicken ingredients, which would be one eight ounce block of Philadelphia cream cheese. It has been softened. It's been sitting out for a couple hours, so it's nice and soft. So I'm going to add that. I'm also going to add a cup of ranch dressing. I prefer buttermilk ranch, so I'm going to add a cup of buttermilk ranch dressing right into here, right in my bowl. And then I'm going to add three quarters of a cup of the Frank's uh, buffalo sauce. So I'm going to add three quarters of a cup to that. Also, I went ahead and preheated my oven to 375 degrees so it can go ahead and get nice and warm for my dip. While I add all my ingredients in, I'm going to kind of just mix it. Like I said, the cream cheese should be warm. I'm sorry, it should be room temperature. Um, but if you forget to leave it out so that it can get room temperature, feel free to pop it in the microwave for about 30 seconds or so. And it will soften and it'll make the mixing process a lot easier. But I'm just going to kind of mix everything in. And of course, I shredded me some cheddar cheese. So right into my bowl, I'm going to add a cup of freshly shredded cheese. That's sharp cheddar. I would prefer extra sharp. I love extra sharp cheddar. But um, right now, I'm just using what I have. So I have some sharp cheddar. I had a block of sharp cheddar. I went ahead and shredded the whole block because I am going to create another version of this dip. So I need all the cheese. So I went ahead and shredded all of it. Right now, here you have it. That's all of your ingredients. Kind of incorporated, not fully incorporated, but you know, enough where you can see what it's gonna look like. Now, here's the kicker. Here's my spin on buffalo chicken dip. Let me just clean my hands. I'm going to use four stalks of green onions. Yes, I cut them with my scissors. I'm going to dump in four stalks of green onion because I love green onion. And it adds color to my dish. The nice green color is wonderful. So I like to add four stalks of the green onions. Here I have a half of a medium red bell pepper. That's half of a medium red bell pepper. I'm going to dump that into my dip as well. It was really finely chopped, finely diced up. That way you'll barely even know it's there. But yet again, look at all that color that it adds to the dish. So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of get everything folded in. Make sure you don't have any lumps and humps of cream cheese. Make sure everything is nice and smooth and incorporated before you dump it into your pan. So this is what my buffalo chicken dip looks like with everything mixed in and incorporated. And I'm not going to lie to you. I've tried it like this and it's delicious. Just like this, you can serve it with Ritz crackers or tortilla chips. Eh, in this state, I would probably lean more towards the Ritz crackers. But like I said, it's perfectly fine like that. But you know I have to bake it, right? So I'm gonna use my Pioneer Woman Bakeware. I just lightly sprayed it with some cooking oil or some cooking spray. And I'm just gonna add all of this goodness out of my bowl into my bakeware. I don't wanna leave anything in the bowl, of course. <laughs> so I'm gonna scrape everything out of my bowl the best way I can. Make sure it's packed in there nice and evenly. Now, I know you heard me say earlier that I was going to use the remaining of my sharp cheddar that I shredded. So 
different spin or a different variation of this dish. And what I mean by that is simply, instead of using chicken for this dish, I have made it before, I've prepared this dish before using the solid white albacore tuna by Sunkist. So if you have any brand of white tuna that you like and you do not eat chicken or you have loved ones that don't eat chicken, feel free to try this dish with the white tuna um, in water, of course. You would drain the water as much as possible in a strainer, get all of the liquid off of the canned tuna. Um, and then you would go ahead with the remaining of the steps. I would probably use four of the 12 ounce cans of white tuna to prepare this dish. They're about that tall, so I would use about four of those. And then like I said, I would add the rest of the ingredients as is. And then you would have a buffalo tuna dip for your non-chicken eaters. And it's really good. If you don't eat chicken, haven't eaten chicken in a while, you won't miss the fact that it's not chicken. As a matter of fact, once you season it like this, it's going to taste like chicken. Well, anyway, it'll taste like, you know, buffalo dip. But with that being said, I'm definitely going to have to make a pan of that. So I saved some of my cheese for that. I'm just topping this one off with about a half a cup. Well, no. Oh, my oven's preheated. About a cup of cheddar. I just top it off. And then I'm going to sprinkle a little paprika right on top. And I'm going to slide it into my now preheated 375 degree oven for about 15 to 20 minutes until the cheese is nice and bubbly. If you prefer your cheese not to get too brown, please feel free to cover it with foil before sliding it to the oven. 15 to 20 minutes and your dip will be ready to serve. And here we are. Look at how nice and hot and bubbly the cheese is on this dip. Um, I'm gonna sit it down because it did just come out of a 375 degree oven. Um, I baked it for 20 minutes. Like I said, you can let it go a little longer if you want a little browner on top. Um, I don't prefer mine to be too brown on top, but I want my cheese to get hard when it cools. I want it to stay nice and melty and cheesy and delicious. But I am going to garnish it with some green onion, of course. So, a couple springs of green onion. I just ran my scissors through, cut them up, cut them on the body so they can look nice and pleasing to the eye. Add a nice decorative look to it. Um, the pop of color is also always a nice bonus. So, put a little green onion on top. And I'm telling you, this buffalo dip, whether tuna or chicken, is guaranteed to make you the talk of the party. If you decide to take this to a uh, Super Bowl party, football party, whatever sport event, just to get together, I definitely recommend, um, you know, bringing a pan of the buffalo chicken dip, buffalo tuna dip. Also, I finally got a chance to edit. Um, what episode is that? Episode three. So, if you are hosting a party or you are going to a party, please check out episode three. I'm going to get that posted today. I know it's a, a couple of weeks ago that I, I recorded it, but now I figured out a way around my issues. So, I'm going to post that. That has cheesesteak sliders and spinach dip that will also make you the talk of the party. I'm telling you, these party favorites are a favorite for a reason. So, check out episode three, but also consider making this buffalo chicken dip in chicken or in tuna, because either way, it's freaking amazing. Um, but I definitely wanna thank you for joining me today. I know on episode three, check out episode three. <laughs> I'm gonna keep inserting it right on in there. Anyway, episode three, I bragged about a brand of tortilla chips that I like to serve my spinach dip. And I still love that brand, but here is another brand that I also love. So please consider serving your buffalo dip with either those tortilla chips, 
the other on the border tortilla chips or even Ritz crackers. It's totally up to you. But I do want to thank you so much for joining me today. Like I said, quick and easy, buffalo dip, chicken, or tuna. It's solely up to you. Either way, it's delicious. But I want to bring you another one of my favorites with a nice flavorful spin on it by sliding in a little red bell pepper and a little green onion. Um, please remember to subscribe to my channel, turn on your notifications, click the like button, and you know, don't be stingy. Share my videos, especially videos like this that give you nice ideas for parties, get togethers. I don't know. You can eat it as dinner if you'd like, but share it. Share it with friends, family, associates, anyone you know who'll be interested in watching me prepare all of these wonderful foods with all of my quick tips and um, all of my easy, easy-ish type ingredients and recipes. Um, also, I really appreciate everyone who's given me feedback, who's given me suggestions, who's shown love and support to this channel. Also, I have a couple of people out there who's actually made some of my dishes, like the hibachi dinner. That seems to be a hit. If you haven't checked out that, please check out that episode. Of course, right now I can't remember what episode it is, but it's the hibachi dinner episode. I have a few friends and family that have tried that and they enjoyed it, so you should do the same. Um, Like I said, you know I'm always ready to dig in. And I want you to prepare this recipe so you can do the same. But until next time, you have a great day.